you want to hear another story, huh? One where the very fate of Pandora hangs in the balance? If not, too bad, I'm telling you anyway. First, there was the vault. An alien prison opened with a mystical key. To the warriors who opened it, the vault was just a container of tentacles and disappointment. They vanished into the wastelands, certain that the vault held no treasure at all. They were wrong. The vault's opening triggered the growth of Iridium, a priceless alien element. Soon, the rare and valuable mineral emerged all across Pandora. Its appearance attracted many, including the Hyperion Corporation. They came to Pandora to mine Iridium and bring order to the savage planet. Through their excavations, Hyperion uncovered evidence of an even greater vault. Their leader vowed to find it, to use its power to civilize the Borderlands, once and for all. But Hyperion weren't the only ones searching for the next vault's alien power. The call of danger and loot is not so easily resisted. Certain warriors came to Pandora in droves to uncover its hidden secrets. Some would call them adventurers. Others call them fools. But I call them vault hunters. Our story begins with them and with a man named Handsome Jack.
Welcome to Pandora, kiddos. Another dead vault hunter. Handsome Jack's been busy. Wait a minute. You're not dead! Yes! Now I can get off this glacier. Claptrap, your metaphorical ship has finally come in. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a CL4P TP steward bot, but my friends call me Claptrap. Or they would if any of them were still alive or had existed in the first place. Oh, I've got something for you. Here, take this echo communicator that I totally didn't loot from one of these corpses. It comes with a class 12 heads up display, complete with a mini map. Now, come, come friend, let's get you inside. Man, this is great. Now that I've met a mighty vault hunter, and repair my central processor so I stop thinking out loud! I wonder what it's like to have a belly button. I'll explain everything soon, but know this. You're alive for a reason, and I am here to help you. Onward! 
exceeding eye minion? Let me know if I'm gonna run into anything. Oof. I'll just assume you didn't see that. Even though Knuckle Dragger blindsided me, I know my way around this glacier. I bet you will find my eye in Frostbite Crevasse. Close to the robot. He will help you get off this glacier and into the city of Sanctuary. That is the only place you will be safe. Ah! I hear bully boss! Sick of minion! Protect me, Squire! Sanctuary, the last bastion of the resistance against Jack, and the only place you'll be truly safe. Get to Sanctuary. Yo! Jack 
time to put it back into me. Much as I'm sure you'd like to jam your fist into my skull, optic surgery is best left to professionals. My pal Hammerlock in Lyersburg can fix me up. Alon C. Uh. Lyersburg's on the other side of this Hyperion barge. Let's say we cut through it, chum. Ha! This door's Hyperion tech. Child's play. And open! Intruders detected. Locking door. Well, it was nice knowing you. I hear getting eaten alive by bully box isn't such a bad way to go. Let me get that for you. Executing phase shift. Purpose of being an artificial intelligence, I'm networked into almost everything on this planet. It's a long way to sanctuary. Please take whatever you need for the journey ahead. Minion, roll out! Keep your wits about you, Minion. This glacier's run by a bandit named Captain Flint. The jerk kept me as his torture play thing for a few months. We play games like dodge the blowtorch and don't get dunked into the pool of acid. I was really good at the first one. Attention, people of Pandora. Handsome Jack here, offering a million bucks to whoever brings me the head of the Vault Hunter who just arrived in Liarsburg. Oh. And I'm still offering a reward for Roland, a mass murderer and leader of the Crypt Good hunting, bandits! <laughs> Since my 
my minion just saved your town. You want to do your best to claptrap a favor and repair my eye? <sighs> yes, I suppose I am in your debt now, aren't I? Come to my shack and I shall restore Claptrap's sight. First, I shall shut off the electrical fence for you. Please stay back, Bolt Hunter. Let Claptrap go first. I knew Hammerlock would come around eventually. Me and him are like two peas in a pod. Two bullets in a mag. Two cannibal midgets in a fat guy's ribcage. <laughs> Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. I shall be out directly. A pleasure to meet you, Volt Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock. At your service. I came out here to research the bully mons for my almanac, but Captain Flint's men trapped me on this glacier. Many thanks for disposing of them, by the way. To survive a direct run-in with Handsome Jack and defeat Captain Flint's bandits, unheard of. I'm headed to Sanctuary myself. From what I hear, the Crimson Raiders there could use a hero like you. Now, if you could hand me the robot's eye, please. Now, I need only connect this to this, and... That should do it! <laughs> I am alive! Oh dear, he's talking again. Minion! Now I've got my eyesight back! And you're far uglier than I remembered! Time to join up with the Crips and Raiders in Sanctuary! This glacier's full of nothing but murderers or jerkbags! Like that hammerlock dude! I'm standing right here, dude. Now that Liarsburg is cleared, I might as well turn on the main power. This town's full of things that may be of use to a go-getting slayer of men like yourself. Minion, roll out! I see our fearless leader Jack is looking for it. Charming fellow, isn't he? Spouts drivel about bringing peace to the frontier, then shoots unarmed men, women, and children like it was going out of style. Ah, I'm spouting exposition again, aren't I? Apologies! Ah! There you are! Come on, work, curse you! Ah, fecal matter! A bounty board's broken! The Resistance must have disconnected it before they left for Sanctuary. I'd planned to post some jobs for you. Ah well, just speak to me instead. So... Are you enjoying Liasburg? This town used to have a spectacular amount of hustle and or bustle before its denizens fled to sanctuary to escape Jack's army. Most of them, anyway. Captain Flint's men killed anyone who stayed. No, Captain Flint. Liarsburg, I see no reason that wild bully mong should lollygag about the place, disrespecting the memories of the former townsfolk. If you could clear the town of them, that would be most gentlemanly. The objectives on your HUD pertain to your active mission. You can change your active mission by using the mission log in your Echo device. Pandora. Nobody here is used to seeing a tyrant. Half the people I've met want to worship me, the other half want to turn me over to Hyperion. Is 
Still, it's a nice change of pace from the Abbey. At least here, the bad guys stabbed me from the front. I haven't found a shred of info about Sirens. Close as I thought to a lead on Siren history, the legends of the pink game. It's not much to go on, but it's not right. Maybe if I find this boss, I'll find out where the hell Siren's going from. <laughs> or maybe I'll prove both of us are will think twice about raiding peaceful cities in the future. Hopefully.
station. You can use this to change your appearance and reset your skill points. Please make Captain Flint's death as prolonged as possible, would you? Quite the douche he is. If you're to survive out here for any length of time, you'll need a better shield. I humbly suggest paying a visit to the old Crimson Raider safe house. You'll need to take the elevator. Of course, I forgot. The safe house power box stopped working after Claptrap attempted to integrate with it. Oh, 
what care? Just get a new fuse for the elevator and ignore what he said about that power box. Send to the safe house and buy a shield. This used to be a sizable hub for the resistance until everyone heard the Hyperion army approaching and fled to sanctuary. into the receptacle below.
Dr. Zed's portable clinic. What can Ralph done? Now, real turn to Lyle's bug. We can see about it. You this frigid glacier. See my hat. It is the hat of a gentleman. And yet it's missing something. Some je ne sais quoi. I think some bullymong fur might do the trick if you could bring me some. To harvest bullymong fur, you need to rip it from the hide with your bare hands. Just wheel the bullymong with gunfire and forget it over with fisticuffs. that runs through the dust. If all goes well, we should get to Sanctuary in a day's time. Hyperion hasn't diverted any troops from New Haven to pursue us, and a sandstorm has devoured their nearest frontier town. We just did it. Oh! Damn it! Everyone, get away from the windows! You've discovered one of Helena Pierce's audio logs! She was a lieutenant in the Crimson Raiders, the anti-Hyperion resistance! I'd be very interested to know what became of that. If you could find the rest of those audio logs, I would be more than happy to pay you for them. with a melee attack in order to harvest its fur. I'm sure you could try to steal the fur from a bullywong's dead body, but where's the fun in that? Blatantly unreasonable requests! Oh! Something irredeemably stupid with it, like make a mohawk out of it or something. Let me see the deal. If you bring me the fur, I shall give you one of my finest sniper rifles. Bottle of the fur I need. 
Bring it to me and my sniper rifle shall be yours. Screw that noise! Bring me the fur and I'll give you a shotgun! That is a heartbreaker. That... You got something in common with him now, at least! Some Jack killed her, did he? Shame. A real shame. Please return the echoes to me whenever you're capable of doing so. A trillion thanks, Vault Hunter! You've helped a foolish old man look far more badass than he deserves. I'm referring to myself, of course. Like to do battle with a midget riding piggyback on a bully mong? If the answer is yes, please proceed to the southern shelf and defeat Midgemong for me. If the answer is no, you are sad and I have no desire to speak with you further.
insert any donated organs into the receptacle below. Next time you're bleeding to death, just <coughs> Explosives out! 